Welcome back to Spank Range Garage, Side Job Saturday. Tonight I'm working on this 18 horse Honda engine that I'm putting on a trencher. Uh, you'll see another video about that. But I wanted to show some detail in how I prepare these cylinder heads to reseal them. This engine's got problems, much bigger problems than a head gasket. It's got a broken rod, broken piston. Uh, she's had a tough life. But I will be rebuilding this engine in its entirety. And um, I do want the heads to seal correctly when I do so because despite the broken rod, this engine also had two blown head gaskets. And this being a Honda, these use just a piece of metal as a head gasket, right? It's a single layer of steel as a head gasket. And you can see here we were blowing compression out the side of the gasket. And this is actually on both heads. So looking at the head, it's pretty obvious. You've got a low spot here. We have all this carbon and oil build up here. And I've done a couple Kohler Command V-Twins and I see literally the exact same problem on them. Though it's a different design, the Honda has this problem as well. When you overheat these engines, I think the head softens a little bit right above the exhaust port. Here's your exhaust port here. The head seems to develop a low spot here and this is where the head gasket fails. And this is textbook, textbook of how the Kohler Commands fail when I see them lose a head gasket. Uh, the Kohler Commands have a real head gasket though. They have a real graphite gasket with a fire ring. Like I said, these Hondas just have this cheesy little piece of steel. So it's even more important that you get this head surface perfectly flat on a Honda than it would be on a Kohler. But I prefer to machine the head on both of them. First thing I do is I'll take a straight edge. I'll clean this block up really good and then I'll check it with a straight edge for flatness. This one is very, very good. And typically on the Kohlers, the block side always looks good as well. I've never had to cut one of these blocks, but I've seen you know, as much as three thousandths of an inch of a low spot on these cylinder heads over the exhaust valve. So I did do some measuring on these. The Hondas are not nearly as bad. I might see two thousandths here, a thou and a half, but we're gonna give them a cut anyway since they're off the since they're off the engine, and now's our shot to do it right. So let's move over to the mill. So these heads are fairly easy to fixture as the valve cover surface is flat and parallel to the head gasket sealing surface. So really, if you can get this cleaned up really nice, get it clamped down on your table, uh, this surface in theory should be parallel to your table and ready to cut. So pretty simple fixturing. We're just on the valve cover surface here, flat along the table, and then I grab this boss on the casting and I'm grabbing on the exhaust stud over here. Uh, really, if you can avoid it, don't grab on the air-cooled fins. They're pretty weak. You can do it in a pinch, and I have done it, but if you've got bosses or bolts you can grab, that's better. So taking a look here as we stroke across the head, you'll see that she's pretty nice and flat. That direction. All right, so the head squared up with the table, and then as we come forward here, you can see a little bit of the low spot action over the exhaust there. So that's a half a thou, little over a half a thou on our low spot there. And then this will come back up again as we get towards that head bolt. So uh, this really isn't too bad. On a Kohler, this would seal no problem, but being that it's a Honda with a metal gasket, uh, we're gonna cut it anyway, just so it is perfectly flat, but really this looks worse than it is. We'll see how the other head lines up, but this is about only a half a thousandths low here. So. That's probably in spec, but since we're doing it anyway, we're doing it. For this job, we're gonna use my massive fly cutter that I built for doing automotive heads. Nice and slow, just grazing this thing. How's that for a surface finish? So one cut's all it took, two thousandths of an inch, and this is a brand new ceiling surface. Uh, this, this cutter works just awesome. It's really a way to make a bridge port 
quite capable for doing this kind of stuff. There are a couple like grease smears that get into the surface finish here that make it look imperfect, but I assure you this thing feels like a mirror. I don't know how long it took. I'd have to back up the footage and see. I mean, I probably took almost two minutes to cut this, but you know, who cares? It takes 20 minutes to set the head up, two minutes to cut it, and you have a brand new ceiling surface. Right, lining up to cut the second head. I wanna check this for flatness, both to make sure my fixture is okay and to understand how much needs to come off the top. Oh yeah, baby, that's what I like to see. No fixture needed here. Now let's see what this low spot looks like. Oh, not too bad either. Maybe almost a thousand low there. Coming across a low spot now. You see that ride up about a thousandth low. And then she comes back again. So we'll take two thousandths off of this one as well. Should be a real similar cut. We'll run it at the same feed rate. We should have the same results. There's contact, zero upper dial. Come off the head, let's drop two thousandths on the money. Let her eat. This head came out great as well. I do have some like arcing here that looks like a tool mark, but there's nothing actually there. Just when chips get dragged or whatever, it makes some marks. Like back here, we have like grease marks in the cut or whatever. But anyway, this finish turned out awesome. Plenty smooth for the metal gasket the Honda has on this engine. So we'll go ahead and get this off the bridge port. Super simple fixturing on these Hondas because the back side of them is parallel. So if your table is trammed in and everything's good, everything's clean, it's literally just a matter of clamper down and go cut it. There we are. Two resurfaced cylinder heads, ready to go on this perfectly clean engine block. Well guys, there you go. Just that simple, probably took 40 minutes from start to finish, including filming and all that crap. If you do this stuff daily, you could probably bang this pair out in 20 minutes. So if you have the means to, it's absolutely worth cutting the heads on these V-twins and probably the single cylinders. I don't do a lot of small engine stuff, but the last three that I've done head gaskets on have needed the heads cut, or at least I feel they need the heads cut. So I guarantee you there will be no leaks in the future for this engine. This is done right. I'm very happy with how it turned out. Thanks for watching Side Job Saturdays on Spank Ranch Garage. I'll see you next time.